Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to be unboxing the K Keurig K Supreme Plus. So this is a live stream. I'm also going to do, I'll do my normal video on this because that way it'll be short and people can watch it and uh, see exactly what they want. Live streams typically tend to be a little longer. But uh, So this came in, I, it looks really nice. Not the price of it. Yeah, so right now this thing is on sale for 140 bucks. That's a really good deal. This is a really good deal for a K Supreme Plus. So one thing I didn't know is and they don't they don't advertise this much is it comes with some things that you don't normally see. So it comes with this uh, reusable K cup. That's a $10 value. Comes with the water filter starter kit. That's about a $15 value. It's got the multi-stream technology. It says it's programmable. Oh, I, I'm really looking forward to this. It's programmable. Um, you can just hit a button, like it memorizes for like car seats. You get in a car and you can just press which one you want and it, it moves it. So whatever button you want to program for you, um, it'll remember your settings. I like that. That's new. I have not seen that on a Keurig yet. You know, just as an interesting note. So I've been looking for these Keurig mugs. I can't find them anywhere. I don't think they sell them. I think if they did sell them, it would be a big hit. But um, I've never been able to find these Keurig mugs. Maybe they did it one time and they don't now. So yeah. I will be doing a comparison with the, the other. So this is the Plus. And I will be doing a comparison with just a standard K Supreme. So they've got this thing on a really good sale. So let's cut the seal and get into it. Cure eggs are always really nicely packaged. Got your instructions, we got our filter, got our carbon filters. Box here. I'm not used to seeing that. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. And it's kind of heavy, so be careful. And that's all there is in the box. Plastic off. Alright, looks really nice. So, I do like the looks of it. I guess I was expecting it to be black, but this one is like a silver, like a metal finish. It's got your standard tape on it. We're going to take the tape off. Thanks everybody for joining. I should have chat on. If anybody's got any questions, I'll be looking at the chat. Um, I mean, I'm gonna. This is just my unboxing of the Keurig K Supreme. This is the last Keurig I needed. I've got every Keurig they make now, of the standard consumer version, of the latest models. I don't have the, the older ones, the 2.0s and the Keurig Hots. Again, it comes with the two of these carbon filters. We've got the carbon, we got the filter holder. This is their long-handled version. 
And again, you're just going to put the carbon filter in there like that. They did increase the size of the reservoir. And always make sure you snap these on. Otherwise, they will float. That there. I'm gonna reposition a little bit. Sorry. Okay. If anybody wants to see a behind the scenes, I'm just gonna show you real quick at my setup. Sometimes people find it interesting, but I've just got this standard suction cup mount, and um, this is kind of an extension. I really like these quick disconnects. I just push these buttons, and this comes up. This holds my phone, and it just got these cheapy. Lights, because lights are really important. And then over here I've got this light, which helps out a bunch. And that's pretty much my, my studio. So uh, not, not real high tech, but um, I think it's working out really well. So we've got the Keurig K Supreme Plus. This thing looks nice. It feels heavy, it feels nice. And let's get, there's the multi-stream technology. That's got the five needles up at the top. That's what makes this Supreme so different, is that multi-stream technology. This looks about the same. I'm going to put, I'm going to go handheld now. So there we go. There we've got the five needles. The needle basket down at the bottom looks about the same. This feels really nice. This... This is all metal. You're, I'm not used to seeing that on Keurigs. They, these handles tend to be uh, plastic quite a bit. Here you, oh, you've got a four ounce setting. Oh my gosh. That, you rarely see a four ounce setting. Six ounce, you know, most times standard is just eight, 10, 12, but you got four and six on this. Strength, temperature, over ice button. These are new to Keurig. These one, these are like selectors. It'll save my settings. So it's got one through three. Three people can have different settings on this. Power button. Removable re the, re the drip tray. That's plasticky. That is real metal though while they're on the front. Again, there's the reservoir. They have increased this. That the best thing about these is the reservoir. That is the nicest handle. Easy to use. It, it sits flat. Um, and it finds itself when you want to put it in, it just goes in. Keurig makes some really awful reservoirs in my opinion. They're awkward. The machines look decent, but the reservoirs are just not that very good. So again, back here, we've got the plug. Very nice looking machine. This is real metal. So let's go back to my suction cup mount. Let's take a look at the bottom because I think, you know what, that reservoir is not movable. So I was expecting this. So on the other case, Supreme, you can move this reservoir to back here. Here, It's not movable on this. I wonder why they didn't do that. That was a nice feature on the other one. Huh. Okay, that's making more sense now. They got this cutout for it. So the reservoir is not movable. Wow. That's uh that's interesting. So again, the reservoir just fits right there. So the first thing, let's look at the instructions. Keurig instructions are usually very, very basic. Different. All right, so there. I've done a review on all three of these. Okay, so this is for the My K Cup and the Keurig. 
So yeah, very, very basic. Just enough to get you started. They do go into some details. Yeah, we did have this white box here. Let's see what's in the white box. Awfully big. Oh. Two more carbon filters. And my K cup. Kind of a big box for that, but that's what's in there. And again, remember the carbon filters, you got to uh, run these in water for 10 minutes. Put them in a cup of water for 10 minutes or um, and then run them under water. Then you can put them in there because they are they do have carbon dust in them. So you get four carbon filters. Here's the my K cup. So that, this is nice. Um, Keurig doesn't normally send reusable K cups with their machines. And this is the new one, uh, the new design with five needle holes. There you've got this is where you can put the coffee grounds. It's just a uh, that's a metal mesh filter. This is removable, so you're gonna have to remove this when you want to do the five needles. And that's so it fits like that. So the five needles can go down there. So you're going to put your coffee in here. Gonna, well, then you got to take this off. Now I did notice um, when I reviewed it, this sticker this sticker doesn't come off. I don't, I don't know why. They should have made that more removable. I found it's better just to cut it. And then you got to you got to take this adapter off. This is for older Keurig 2.0s. So then you've got the adapter off. You put your coffee grounds in there. Line up the dots, lock it. See how it's not locked? So you got to make sure it's locked all the way around. Now it's locked all the way around. We're in the locked. But you got to do one more step. You got to take the needle basket out. I'm sorry. I know. I've just been really, I've been backed up. And um, I've really been wanting to get this video out. I'm sorry it didn't get posted earlier. Um, I am going to be starting to post some more videos more regularly. I did have a little bit of time off there. I do apologize for that. So you got to take the needle basket out. And uh, then you can set this in there. You got to make sure you get it right though. There's a big cutout right here. And it's going to go like that. So that when you close the handle, you don't force it. If it's not in there right, don't force it. So there's that, there's that standard needle basket. So the first thing they always have us do, so the detailed review is gonna arrive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish that right after I do this live stream. I'm gonna do the detailed review and that'll be a more condensed version. Live streams tend to be a little long and that way I can edit it and make it just very detailed what people want. So this uh, Keurig Case Supreme Plus has been getting a lot of good reviews out in there, out in the press. Uh, I even saw some press say it was the best Keurig machine they've made yet, which I might believe because the other, the Case Supreme, I really like. Because over here, there's the standard Case Supreme. Looks a lot of like it. Um, you've got the strong brew over ice. Over here, you've got a few more settings. You've got four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce strength. These are new, these selectors. So let's fill it up with water. Let's run a rinsing through it. So again, I love the reservoir. Best part of it. Make sure that is in there and snapped. Now I don't have the carbon filter. The carbon filter should be in there, but. They did increase the size of the, the reservoir.
thing gets heavy. That's a lot of water. That's a, that's a pretty heavy reservoir now. But that's good. I think people generally want a reservoir that they can, they can fill up. And the plug, it's a standard three prong plug, usually heavy duty. We're gonna turn it on. I don't know if you can see, it's got strength and temperature. So we're gonna have to, gonna have to read a little bit. Just drop the phone, sorry. That'll look good on the live stream. <laughs> okay, so let's actually, we gotta read the instructions. So we got to do an eight ounce brew. All right, so let's take a look at this. I've got it turned on. I don't know what these things mean yet. Strength and temperature. I guess it's kind of just showing you where they're at. Now they're not flashing, they're, they're nice and steady, but they are kind of dim. So we're gonna lift the handle, make sure you got the needle basket in. We're not gonna put a Keurig cup in. It says press the eight ounce button and then the K button. So it says brewing up here. Was a relatively quick first brew. So this is just our rinsing brew. We've got to get it. Not, they just want you to clean out any manufacturing stuff that might be in there still. Okay, so it did do, it did do the eight ounces. So I'm looking through the directions, it says it's got a clock on here, but they don't give you any directions on how to set it. Huh. So I'm looking through the directions now talks about the cleansing brew. It talks about doing a mug for the first time. Unbelievable. They don't show you how to set the... It says it has a clock. But they don't show you how to set the clock. <laughs> I knew they were basic, but why wouldn't they show you... I don't know why they wouldn't show you how to set the clock. But that's going to be frustrating for people. It shows a clock.
So one thing I've learned is go to the, like the Amazon or wherever you buy it or to, or to um, so here I've, I bought it off of Amazon for one thirty nine. I forget what I paid. It goes up and down in price. That's a really good price. But uh, if you scroll down, there's a more complete manual. And you can get this off the Keurig website. And they don't have the manuals. Normally, so under this section here, they've got a link to the product, and they don't have it. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I don't... I apologize for not being more prepared, but Keurig should definitely have showed us how to set the clock. So we've got our rinsing brew. Now we can see on the inside, everything's all, all nice and clean. We ran some fresh water through there. So now we're going to take a standard cake up. So I've got a Maxwell House here. Um, this is my favorite coffee. This is the Walmart donut shop. But um, if you look on the back of the packages, most of them, they don't tell you what size to brew it on. It just says load it and press start. So with K-Cups, I've done a lot of videos on the, they, these are, there's two tablespoons of coffee in here. And I think what's nice about this, Keurig machines is, I th but it kind of confuses some people is why they give you so many selections. But that's really for your taste. And these K cups can be brewed on any 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 size. And for me, the eight ounce is perfect. Um, some people prefer the six ounce. That's a pretty strong coffee. The ten ounce is a little weak to me. But let's just so we're just gonna put it in. Again, we're just gonna put it in. We don't we don't press it down, do any of the puncturing ourselves. It, it punctures everything nice and easy. We can hit the uh, let's get our coffee mug under there. So I'm gonna have to look in. This got the strength and this temperature. So I'm gonna have to look into that. But let's do that. Eight ounce and the big K button. So it does say brewing. We do get a few splatters. But it's a pretty nice stream coming out, but it does splatter a little bit. Some of the really cheap Keurig or the really cheap K cup machines, they splatter a lot. So this has got a pretty nice. Just when you think it's done, it's going to shoot a bunch of water through there again. So this, so this has to be one of the quietest Keurigs I've ever reviewed. I can hear the pump, but I absolutely don't even hear the heater. That's that's pretty that's pretty crazy. So cause some Keurigs are pretty loud. So let's do a temperature check. 163, once the coffee cool, cools off so quick. About 165, that's pretty standard. So I just haven't acquired that taste for um, straight black coffee yet. Um, it's still pretty bitter to me. I'm going to try it. Mm, that's a really hot cup of coffee right now. So I'm going to add my cream and sugar. I had way too much cream and sugar, but it takes all the bitterness away right now for me.
Well, that's a nice, that's a hot cup of coffee. That's a nice hot cup of coffee. Um, wow, this Keurig's doing a really good job. And that was just straight out of the box. So I'm really impressed with it right now. But not so much with the directions. The directions are kind of lacking. And so that's what's going to make the detail. This is more of an unboxing, kind of a, a setup. Um, Let's take a look at the, so here we, we've got that multi-stream technology. Now you do get a few coffee grounds. I want everybody to see that. Um, that's why these, um, that's why rinsing your Keurig machine is important. So see, I just did one cake up and it does have, get a few, a few coffee grounds up here. And what can happen is, is if you don't rinse this after a certain amount of time, you can start clogging these needles. I'm going to do a separate video on how to just unclog the needles. But uh, and here we have the, there's the K-cup. Now that's a, that's a good cup of coffee. I'm telling you, these Keurigs, and, I, and the more I'm using this, these K-Supremes, the more I'm liking them. Um, I think this multi-stream technology, there's a lot to it. I think it's really, really... Um, it's really making the cup of coffee taste like a, a coffee out of a coffee pot. I'm really having a hard time finding the difference between the two, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, let's cut the cake up open. I'm just going to move the camera. So this is kind of a combination. This is some of the things I do for my detailed reviews. Um, it's kind of an unboxing slash... It's not going to be one of my best videos. Live streams, you know, when you do a detailed video, you can edit it, get everything right in order. I'm kind of all over the place right now, so I do apologize for that. But I'm getting back into live stream. I got away from it for a little bit. Um, I do want to get back to it, though. I do enjoy it. So there's the top. There's the coffee grounds. Let's, let's do the bottom. It's just live streams end up being a little longer. I, I, I guess I can, I can get better at live streams and maybe have stuff more prepared and um, know exactly what everybody's after. There's the nice filter. So we're going to push the coffee out. So it looks like it does a pretty good job with the coffee. Again, that's that that multi-stream Keurig five needles. Pretty neat technology. I, I do think it actually helps out a little bit. So let's get into the strengths. So here we've got strength and temperature. Okay, so just by pressing the strength button, now that's not flashing. It's steady in real life, but it is really dim. So by pressing the strength button, I can change the strength. It's got three strengths. So when it's all the way to the left, the strength light is off. When I press it once, it goes to the middle. Press it again, it goes there. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let's do temperature. So the temperature button is out when it's all the way to the left. When I press it again, it's in the middle. Press it again, it's all the way to the right. So there's three different temperatures. We've got over ice. Over ice takes a lot of the functions away. I think that's going to be a set amount. You don't get to select what amount or strength or anything. Awesome. So it is a great machine. So yeah, um, I'm loving it so far. I do think the the K cups taste a little taste quite a bit better actually out of these uh, these K Supremes. I've been using the case the normal K Supreme with the multi stream. I really love this machine, and this this machine's come down in price. Um, I got this off Facebook Marketplace for about seventy five bucks. This is about one hundred forty right now, but it does seem like the go to machine right now. So let's do some, let's do a strength. Let's do it. Let's do the middle strength and the middle temperature and see what we get. Let's put our K 
cake up in. The machine does a good job of, of see how it grabs the cake up. It's going to push it down, and then it's going to pierce the top. That's very easy. It feels very nice. So again, let's do the 8 ounce. And my strength and my temperature light are lit. It says it's brewing. Again, I don't, I don't even hear the machine. I do notice when you do the strength um, selectors, when you change the strength of the Keurig machines, the stream comes out a little bit slower and that can cause some splattering. Um, I've noticed that with the cheaper Keurig machines. This is that first cup of coffee I brewed. Yeah, that's still really good. Maxwell House is a pretty good cup of coffee. I, at first I didn't like it, but it, actually it's pretty good. I've been kind of a Folgers drinker, and now I'm onto this donut shop, but uh, Maxwell House is a good cup of coffee too. Yeah, so when that stream is slower, you do get some more uh, splatters. So just when you think it's done, it's not done. It's got that last bit of dish. All right. Again, overall, this machine is super quiet. Wow, is it quiet. So you know that temperature-wise, so it's at 165 now. You know, the other one was at 163. So let's do... I gotta put my sugar in. I've never super been able to do, tell these, these, um, these strengths, to be honest with you. When Keurig changes the strength of the coffee. But. Now that one did taste a little hotter at first. So it is a few degrees hotter than the, the original brew. And again, I just, the strength for me, I, I don't know, maybe I can taste it. So let's try, let's try the other string and the other temperature. Thanks everybody for joining me this morning. It's kind of my unboxing. It's kind of a detail. It's kind of a mix of everything. I just opened it up. I don't know much about the machine right now, so I do apologize if the things aren't going super smooth. So we're going to put it in. I'm normally used to hitting pause, but when you're live streaming, you can't hit pause. So, let's go back up here. Oh, so something interesting. It reverts back to the normal temperature. I'll get into these memorizing these buttons later. So, let's press the strength button three times. It's all the way over. Let's press the temp. Now it's all the way over. Let's press the eight ounce and the brew. It is taking a little bit longer. I should be timing these, but they, they happen so quick. I mean, it's under a minute. Even for the strong broods, it's under a minute. Yeah, that water 
and others. But it's pretty hot. Now they're about 185, 180, 187. But it cools off so quick. So this one is taking quite a bit longer. I'll, I'll definitely time these for the detailed review. That is definitely a, a longer brew. You can tell right away that's a longer brew. I've got it on the maximum strength. There's three strengths, I've got it on the maximum. coffee. Let's check the temperature. So yeah, 167. So the first one was about 163, 168. So about two degrees difference each selector. So 163, 165, and 167. Not a huge temperature swing, but that that's a pretty hot cup of coffee. Again, I'm not an expert coffee taster. I, I saw something on Discovery of actual coffee tasters, and it is, there's actually an academy for coffee tasting. So I am in no means anywhere near that. You know, so this is the first time, so I do definitely think I taste a little stronger coffee. Now, it is, it's hotter. That might be part of the thing I'm tasting, but um, I'm starting to taste a little bit of a stronger coffee. Now, when I say stronger, it's not as bitter, not more bitter, but more of a darker actual coffee taste. I do like that, but it did take a little bit longer to brew. Like I said, with most Keurigs, I've never been able to taste that. So this was the this was the first one, the normal strength, normal temperature. Okay, so I'm I'm actually starting to taste. This one is a stronger coffee now. I know on some, even the other one, the first case of Prima, I wasn't able to tell the strength. But this one, I think they're starting to figure out they can actually make a stronger cup of coffee. Um. Again, I'm not an expert. I might, I might be, something may be tricking me. I don't know. But uh, from what I can taste, it does taste a little stronger. All right. Did anybody have any questions on this particular case Supreme or anything you wanted to see? I've got the chat open if anybody wants to leave something there. Um, you're just joining I did a kind of an unboxing kind of a general uh, how-to on the Keurig there's gonna be a lot to learn from this it's not super self-explanatory and the directions have a little bit left to be desired so again I thought there was gonna be a clock but apparently there's not a clock or maybe there is I don't know but I got to read more directions on it I am going to be getting into some more um, different coffee mix. So this rounds out. I've noticed the temp control doesn't do much on my machines. Okay. Yeah. So what I saw was basically about two or three degrees temperature swing, which that's really hard to tell. And um, because coffee cools off so quick. I mean, when you put it in a mug, it's just, it cools off so, so quick. So yeah, that temperature thing, but you know, if you drink your coffee right away from the Keurig, you might, I was able to tell that 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 um, change in the temperature um, pretty quick. So again, let's, let's do one of these. It does come with the, the My K-Cup. And don't forget, I've got Just A Dad stickers. Um, if you email me at Just A Dad Videos, it's on my uh, YouTube page. Um, if you email me, I'll send you a sticker for free. So Just A Dad Videos at gmail.com. 
Yeah, and that's a $10 value that comes with free with this. That's a really, really nice feature. So again, you're going to open it up. There's your filter. So on this one, now this, this is really important. This red thing is super, super important. Uh, we want to remove it for, because for the Supreme. But if you're going to use this in any other Keurig without the five needles, you've got to have this. I made a big mess. I put this reusable K-cup in a machine that only had a single needle. All the coffee grounds came out the other four needles. Big mess. Took forever to clean it up. So very important. We're going to remove it. Again, I've done the measurements. This holds about two, almost two and a half tablespoons. Not quite two and a half tablespoons of coffee. But I like to put just normal, uh, standard two tablespoons of coffee. So I've got my coffee grounds. Again, I'm, I've really grown to like this, this uh, Walmart donut shop. Um, and, you know, I, I recommend this coffee. So there's beginners out there new to coffee. I think this one's a really good choice. Um, Folgers and Maxwell are, are also good choices. But this one, I don't want to use the term it's not as strong or it's got kind of a balanced taste of it's not a lot of different flavors going on um it, it kind of just hey this is what coffee tastes like and you don't get into the like the starbucks burnt roast and all the different things that kind of might turn you off to coffee right away and when i tasted some of starbucks that's their signature brand is their um their coffee has kind of a smoky kind of a burnt taste to it i'm not really grown to that yet but that's their signature So let's put two tablespoons of coffee in. I need some more coffee. Again, make sure there's no coffee. No coffee on the outside. Again, this comes free. This is a really nice deal. I'm super impressed with Keurig for putting this free in there. Again, here's the the pod make sure you remove this is the adapter for the bigger Keurig machines which we don't need so you're just going to put it in here we're going to take the lid the red things out we've got a white dot here line up the white dogs white dots on the unlock okay and then we're going to press we got to kind of press down and then we're going to turn it to the lock position make sure these are all locked all right, so we've got our K-Cup ready to go. Um, we gotta do a little bit of work up here, that's why I'm putting that down. Let me reposition. So we lift this up, we gotta take, be careful that can be hot. So now we have to take the, need, be careful there's a needle down in there. But what I have found is, so pressing from the bottom and kind of pushing on those tangs, it comes up, it comes up real easy. And again, the thing's not going to, uh, it could be hot, but it's not going to poke you right there. The needle is down in there. So that is the only drawback with this type of reusable cake up is taking out the, the needle basket. So now we've got our reusable cake up. It's got an arrow. The arrow needs to point that way. It's got this big uh, notch here. There's a place for the big notch. And it should fit nice and flush. See how it's nice and flush all the way around. You don't want to force this. So I'm going to lower this. It's nice, no force. You could definitely do a lot of damage if that's not in there correct. So let me get another mug. And see, we still got plenty of water. I filled that water reservoir up when we first started. Big warning on there, it says don't remove the reservoir while it's brewing. Well, yeah. So I lifted the handle, got it in there. Um, so it reverts back to the strength. 
of just normal. Let's do an eight ounce brew. So we're doing just a normal eight ounce brew on the Keurig K Supreme Plus. This is what the reusable cake up that comes with it. It's called the My Cake Up. Something I don't like. So I'm getting some water coming out. That's not right. I should not be getting water coming out places other than the stream. That means water is coming out around the cake up. And that's not good. Not good. This could be a problem with Keurig machines. I, I've seen this on numerous Keurig machines. I haven't seen it with the My Cake Up though. I thought the My Cake Up was a little better than this. I thought it was specifically designed for the curing machine. Okay, so let's see. Let's see real quick what's going on. So we lift this up. Why did we get water coming out around? We should not have gotten water coming out around the K cup. Huh. All right, so there's the coffee. So again, even with the, um, about 160, that's a really hot cup of coffee. So yeah, that tastes, that's really hot right now. It's hard to taste it, but um, that's using your own grounds. That's inside this reusable K-cup. Now I am going to show you that you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee from using your own coffee grounds with that filter. I've been reading some stuff on sediment. Um, again, I'm not an expert on coffee at all. I think the coffee tastes a little better with sediment. Um, and some of the older programs I've watched on TV talk about they talk about sediment, and sediment was a thing that uh, coffee makers did a lot of. And they talk about giving it extra. That's the extra flavor. That's the extra richness. I'm tending to believe that a little bit. Now it takes a little getting used to because I think we're still used to drinking coffee. And when you're done with your coffee, at the bottom of the coffee cup, you don't see anything. With with sediment, you see the sediment, and it does look a little... So that, that's what shocked me at first, was just seeing the sediment and thinking, oh. You know, you associate seeing the sediment with, um, my coffee doesn't taste good. But I actually think the coffee tastes a little, just a little bit better with it. So let's open up. Let's open up the reusable K cup. See if we can see what went wrong. Again, be careful. This can be hot. We're just going to turn it to the unlock position. So it looks like it does a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. I tend to think it, it got the coffee grounds all saturated, looks like. You know, and this is a science. I, I don't know enough about coffee, but people that know the science behind coffee, they can tell if grounds have been brewed and all kinds of different things. But it does saturate them all. It looks like it extracts all of the coffee grounds out. There's what you're left. So I don't know why the water came out around it. I'm going to have to investigate that. But I thought it would have worked because this is their they, they shipped it with it so so let's put the needle basket back in again I always tell people so you can reach caution sharp needles that, that faces to you the needle faces that way and there's these two tangs here and one center tang up here 
which matches up here. You're just going to put it in. And it's nice and level. Practice closing it. Make sure it doesn't, you don't force it. Yeah. Very nice. So let's do a rinse. I want to show people a rinse. Why rinses are so important. So we've brewed about, oh, what, one, two, three, four, maybe five cups of coffee. So let's just do it so I don't have the K-cup in. I got my, you do have to have the K-cup basket in. So let's just do an eight ounce and a rinse. I just like to show people why it's important to do a rinse. Sometimes you'll see coffee grounds in there. You'll see the water will be a little discolored. I'm glad I did this live stream today because most Keurigs I've been able to figure them out right away. This one, um, I'm gonna have to really dig into it a little bit to kind of figure out. And then just when you think it's done, it's not done. It's got one last shot of water it's got to run through. So this one's relatively clean. Um, you'd be surprised sometimes you see coffee grounds in there. It's not too discolored, so. Just kind of cleans all those needles and everything. I keep wanting to hit the pause button. <laughs> Did anybody have any um, anything else they wanted to see on a live stream? Maybe for next week? Any other kind of format? I'm really open. I like to help people with things. Um, I'm open to anything. Any other kind of live stream you'd like to see? Definitely we'll be doing the detailed on this and getting it posted. I'll be doing a bunch of videos on Monday. I've got to kind of throw it out there. So my channel, Just, just to Dad Videos, is everybody, do people mind seeing, like, I'll, I'll show some other how-tos on the channel. And I don't know if that's okay or not. So I, I took my aviation videos. I'm a big aviation nut. I love taking videos of airplanes. I've got my own aviation channel now uh, where I post my aviation videos, but is it okay to post uh, a how to take the, the blades off of a mower on this channel or are people really wanting to see this to be just a coffee maker um, and that sort of thing? Because I am going to keep doing the coffee stuff, all of that, but um, I'm, I'm really new to this. That's kind of why I'm, so I'm just throwing it out there, guys. I don't really... Guys and gals, I really don't even know. Um, I don't know much about YouTube. I, I've just, I've just really enjoyed it, and I've just enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed everybody's support. Everybody's so nice on there. Your comments have been just absolutely fabulous. Um, to see your comments, I'm just blown away. I've hit 3,000 subscribers. Just I never, never dreamed of a million years I'd hit 3,000 subscribers. So, and it just keeps going up. And I do attribute that to the coffee learning about coffee um again i'm going to compare it to this i'm going to do a video i've got the k the first k supreme so i'll do a side-by-side -side comparison i am um, that'll be a helpful video i think because there will be people who oh, should i upgrade or should i not um there are look i already know there are some differences between the two so and i'm preparing myself i've got a big video coming up um i've got all the curate machines so <laughs> It's been a while taking to get them. Um, I've got all the current model Keurig machines. And that includes the three that they specifically make for Walmart. Um, there's three Keurigs that are only sold at Walmart. And then there's the other Keurig line that's on the Keurig website. So I've got them all. I'm going to do a... I'm just... I'm pretty excited about that video. Um, it's going to be a long video. I know some people don't like long videos. But I'm going to... I'm going to explain all the Keurig machines... You know, 
I know these can be expensive, so this is $140, but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably going to tell you, you know, buy the Keurig case of Premium. They make, so the cheapest Keurig machine is $60. Um, it's a nice machine, but man, for a little bit more money or twice the amount, you can just step right up to their, to their, their nicest machine, in my opinion. But I'm um, getting excited. I'm going to do all the Keurig machines. It's going to be, it'll be in my kitchen. Um, again, no fancy production studio. I'll just use my kitchen. The wife gets kind of mad that I'm kind of got coffee pots everywhere. I've had some questions of what I do with coffee pots, coffee makers. Um, I've tried selling them. They're very hard to sell. Um, people generally don't buy coffee makers off Facebook Marketplace. eBay's, they would buy them off of eBay, but the shipping's so high. And to ship a coffee maker, it's... You know, it's 20, 30 bucks sometimes. So, and by that time, you might as well just spend the money and buy it new off of Amazon. So, leave your comments down below. Um, this live stream has been fun. I didn't think I was going to do 58 minutes. It's it's easy to do an hour long live stream. I'm also thinking of doing another channel. So, I've learned so much from YouTube about doing YouTube videos. I really want to help people with how to do a YouTube video. And not necessarily a YouTube video, but how to do... I even want to help people how to do a YouTube channel. I think anybody that has a smartphone um, within the last three or within the last four or five years, it, it can be an older smartphone, but I think you can do your own YouTube channel. And I think there's a big need out there for YouTube uh, people to help other people. Or you may just have an interest that, that you'd be surprised how many people out there are interested in what you're in, interested in. So I'm thinking about doing another channel of my journey with YouTube. Uh, I've just loved it. Um, it was started out slow. I've been on YouTube for a long time, but it was just started out with family, posting kids baseball games and this to share with others. And, and it's grown into something that I, I'm just really excited about. I've got some new things coming down the line. Um, again, I've got my Just A Dad stickers. This was the first. Uh, email me at Just A Dad videos. I'll get you a free sticker, um, but I'm going to do some t-shirts, I'm going to do some hats, and I really want to do some mugs, um, but I'm being very selective. I don't, I talked to my son, he's a big marketing, well, he just knows kind of business behind the scenes, he's just a junior in, in uh, college, but he's real smart in the area of uh, kind of business, and he says, Dad, when you, when you do something, you know, don't give out something cheap. Uh, don't sell something super cheap, you know, just to just to to make a bunch of money off it or something, but make it a quality product. So, like you know, I bought this. This is a Starbucks mug. This is a Starbucks mug. It's in very nice quality. Um, I was glad I bought it. Um, so when I do a mug, it's going to have just a dad videos um, on it, and so I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to go down that path. Um, we talked to some. We might talk to some local people. There is somebody in, in our area doing coffee mugs, but um, really, it's really going to be a nice coffee mug, and I'm excited about that because I'm going to continue this coffee journey. Um, I've really enjoyed the coffee journey. Like I said, I just started, um, I started drinking coffee three years ago, and I had to get off Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was just, I don't know, they put something in it that makes, it, makes you want to drink just more and more and more of it, and everybody needs a caffeine kick, so... And you see coffee everywhere. You know, coffee is just, it's everywhere. Everybody drinks it. I'm like, why don't I drink it? And it's such an intimidating drink uh, because the first time, everybody's like, oh, I just drink it black. Well, to be a, never have drank coffee and to drink it black, is it's hard. I mean, it tastes black, pure black coffee with nothing in it tastes, tastes in my opinion, it is super, super bitter. And if you've never experienced that, um, it can just be super, super intimidating. So that's kind of my story of this coffee journey. Um, you know, I started doing the espresso drinks, um, you know, the lattes and that. Those things really, really take the bitterness out. But, um, you know, they're, they're just filled with a lot of sugar and milk and that, and they don't necessarily taste like coffee. I've started drinking coffee with, with cream and sugar, and I really like that. But, it, you know, maybe someday I'll acquire the taste of just pure black coffee. So I'm going to continue the coffee journey is what I was saying. I'm going to get into the more expensive coffee makers. I've had some people ask for the Mocha Master. I'm really looking at getting a Mocha Master. Um, there's one for sale on Facebook Marketplace now for 100 bucks. To me, that's a lot to spend for a coffee maker, but um, they sell for 
three hundred to four hundred dollars. So I think I'm thinking of getting it and seeing if it's better. Because I've got you, you've seen my videos. I've got the cheap twelve dollar coffee maker from Walmart. You know, it produced a good cup of coffee. Again, I'm not a coffee expert, but from what I saw, it produced a, the Mr. Coffee twelve dollar coffee maker from Walmart. Looked like it produced a pretty good cup of coffee. And so I just want to continue to help people with this journey. Does anybody got any questions in the chat? Um, I'm going to get into tea. What's everybody think of tea? So I've got the Mr. Coffee tea makers. They just seem kind of interesting to me. I don't drink tea, but I, I, I like tea. I think it tea, tastes okay. So I'm going to be doing some videos on some uh, Mr. Coffee tea makers. I also have... So I also just bought the Mr. Coffee iced coffee. Got this at Target. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a video on it. Iced coffee seems to be a really big thing now. I haven't acquired the taste of iced coffee yet. Um, to me, there's something about coffee being cold. But, man, a lot of people drink iced coffee. So, again, I'm just going to keep drinking it until maybe I start to like it. And then I'm going to find different ways of, you know, and that's kind of what brought me to the, the journey that I'm on. I'm like, well, you know, I don't like it, but let's see, let's play around with it and let's see what can I do to make make me like it and what are the different options out there. And I think that's what's helped the most. It's just coming from coffee as a beginner. I'm a true beginner. Uh, I never was shown anything. You know, my dad just had a bun coffee maker, threw coffee in it, made coffee. Um, you know, never was explained or anything how much, you know, when I first made coffee, I didn't know how much coffee grounds to put in a coffee maker. I mean, you would think something that simple would be easy, but I, I didn't even know. And then you start looking, you're like, well, it's kind of this world of people just make coffee and they don't really talk about it a whole lot. So that's kind of what I'm going down the path. And um, I think there's a lot more videos to come that had to do with coffee. Is there any other particular brand of coffee maker that people want to see? Uh, leave them in the comments down below. Or if you want to chat right now about it, I can chat right now about it. I've got into the Ninja coffee makers. Those are some pretty interesting coffee makers. And my, so I'm going to be doing the detailed review on this. That'll be a more condensed, like I said, this is over an hour. People aren't going to want to watch an hour video on um, the Keurig K Supreme. This was kind of a general, open it up. We'll see what we're doing today. Uh, I like to open it up to discussion. Anybody got any comments on anything? I know I've just been kind of rambling on and on and on, but um, is there any other kind of coffee maker you'd want to see? Or I've got the Mr. Coffee tea. I'm going to be doing some tea uh, reviews. My next one of my next reviews is going to be all the three. I got all three Keurig K duos. I didn't know Keurig made three of them, but they make three K duos. So I'll be doing a review on that. So the machine does auto shut off. Let's do a, let's do an over ice. Let's see what that's about. Sorry, I got off on a tangent there. So let's put a cake up in. So the machine automatically turns itself on. So it was off. Let's do over ice. So let's go get some ice first. Okay, so we're gonna do over ice now. Got my ice, I'm gonna put this up over here. So this is a pretty tall cup. We're gonna take the drip tray out, just fits. Again, I'm, I'm not sure how much ice to use or whatever. 
we're gonna play around with it. So the over ice is lit. When that when you press the oh, it says over ice. That's pretty cool. None of the other buttons are lit, so you can't press temperature size. It's gonna do its size that it wants. It says it's brewing. Again, thanks everybody for tuning in today. Oh, there's lots out there to, to do. And... So even though it's over ice, it is brewing it pretty. It still brews it pretty hot. Oh, that ice melts really quick. This does brew over ice. That's what we're checking out now. We've done the, we've, we're doing the over the ice button, and we're seeing how it brew, how much it brews over ice. All right, we can see that melted really quick. So let's stir it, kind of give it a chance to equalize in temperature. So wow, it's you know it's pretty much 42 degrees. That's pretty good. Let's see how much. Let's just play around with it. Let's see how much it actually brews over ice. So it does drip quite a bit. Let's lift this up. Let's do a Dunkin' Donuts. So instead of brewing it over ice, let's see what it actually does. So let's press the over the ice button. Again, we gotta press the K button. So let's see what quantity and what temperature it is. I've got my thing here that says ounces. And this will all be in my detailed review, but okay, so that's you know, see, that's really hot 160. It's definitely cooler than when you're brewing a cup of coffee, but it's still pretty hot. Yeah, around 170 now. Okay, so the over ice, over ice is six ounces. Interesting. And I, so I think the reasoning behind that is they, they wanted it to be a stronger coffee. And that's because it says as it melts the ice, it's going to water it down. So six ounces is pretty strong, but by, by the time the ice melts, you know, you're going to be up there pretty good. And, but it's still it's still pretty hot you know it's down around 150 that's pretty standard on other cure eggs that have the over ice that end up brewing around 150 so that's about as low as a cure egg can go and actually brew the coffee so let's just see let's just see how much with the when the ice melted what are we left with So yeah, with the ice melted, you're at about 12 ounces. <laughs> so you get about four ounces of water added to that coffee with the ice melting. So it does have an add water. It tells me to add water. It's not necessarily, I don't see a light. 
and I can't do anything until I add more water. So we brewed quite a few cups. I love this water reservoir. That's going to be one of the main things, nice and big. So even though it's got some water left in it, uh, we still have to add water. And I think a big mystery, so how does it know it's out of water? I would love to find that out. Um, I'm sure it has to do with some circuitry. Maybe the, you know, the older Keurigs had a, had like a float that, that a micro switch w would sense. But I don't know how, I don't know how they sense when it's out of water. That is interesting. Got our Easter decorations up. Rained out. A lot of rain out there. Nice, nice. I got a lot more to go, but I'm just. I love the water. I love the water reservoir. It just sits square, nice big handle. So the water reservoir is bigger. This is the first generation K Supreme. Um, I like its water reservoir too. It's not as big, but it's got the nicest handle. I love that handle. It's got the multi-stream, five needles. That all looks the same. You can see the five needles. There's the five needles. That all looks the same. Looks like it's built the same. It's got the control arm, the needle basket. So this is plastic. Okay. This handle feels plastic. This is definitely metal. That feels really strong. Um, back over here, no, there is no display. On this K Supreme. Hello, Connor. And what are the temperature differences? So, on the K Supreme, you cannot select temperature other than over ice. Over ice brews that are probably five or six degrees cooler. It ends up coming out about 150 degrees. You only have a strong. And it's only one, it's only a normal or strong. This one. It's got three strengths. So as we press the strength button, it go, there's a little thing that goes over. We got three strengths. And I did notice, this was the first Keurig machine that I was able to notice a, a, a stronger cup of coffee with the strength. The temperature, this has got three temperature settings. Normal, medium, and high. And it's about two degrees for each setting. So that's about 163, 165 about 167 again over here no uh, temperature selection other than over ice and then you got six eight ten twelve they've added a four ounce so let's do a four ounce so with the four ounce let me get rid of some of this coffee here. So this four ounce is really, So let's turn the strength up. Okay, I still can select all those. I was wondering why that 10 was selected. So let's do the 4-ounce setting. That's going to open this thing up to be able to do some specialty drinks.
160. So there you go, there's four ounces. That's a really strong cup of coffee. That's gonna open yourself up to some specialty drinks. When you can brew four ounces, you know, you're getting really close to the kind of an espresso. Um, over here you've got the Keurig K Cafe, and it's got a shot, but it's got a you can do an espresso shot and it's two ounces. So you're getting really close to an espresso shot coming out of a carry. And a lot of people use like four ounces. You know, that might be a pretty good, pretty good equivalent when you want to make some of your specialty drinks, like adding milk and some of the different syrups to make a cappuccino and latte. That really opens this machine up to a lot of different possibilities. I like that they give you that option. I really do like give, giving you the option the four ounce. Six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce. 12 ounce is more, I, I generally do the 12 ounce when I'm doing teas. Did anybody have anything else they wanted to see on this? Again, I'm gonna have to learn more about these settings. I, I'm gonna look forward to these settings. Thing to do with the uh, indicator up here. Is there anything else anybody wanted to see? I always like to look at the box. Is it doing everything it advertises? Programmable five cup sizes. Great, it does make the nicest boxes. I love their boxes. I'd have to go down. Keurig does make the nicest boxes. Very well packaged. Um, it's kind of just straight to the point. They've kind of got that down. Well, I think I'll just end. I'm gonna do a walk. I'm gonna walk outside. I'm gonna get my dogs. We're gonna take a walk outside and see what's going on outside. Let's go out. Fiona. Not raining anymore. Let's go outside. Here you go out. Come on, Rosie. Rosie's our old dog. Fiona is hunting. Did anybody have any questions? Any future coffee makers? for our walk. She loves to hunt squirrels. Come on. Come to the bathroom. Dogs are always so patient with me during my live streams. So I feel like I gotta treat them, bring them outside. They love being outside, walking around.
about 50, 55. questions or anything I'm open to any questions anything about coffee makers any future videos you want to see made just kind of ending the live stream taking the dogs for a walk this is where we come this is where we come find our ticks the ticks love the tall grass let's, see, let's get a couple ticks Uh, sometimes I labeled my videos coffee with dad and Fiona my dog Saturday mornings I'll try to do more of these live streams Saturday mornings dogs like grass. What do you smell? What are you smelling? Here comes Rosie's finally gonna come. No digging, you get dirty. Rosie! Mud. Again, I threw the question out there: Does, Do people mind seeing? You know, people may not even like like seeing it. This is just kind of what I do: do some coffee pot reviews and take the dogs out. They've been so patient inside, so I thought I would just share that with everybody. Anybody have any questions? Um, any future coffee makers? Like I said, I'm going to be doing a Mocha Master. I'm going to be getting some of the more expensive espresso machines. Anything that anybody would need help with? Any? Can anybody think of anything um, that they would want help with with a coffee maker? Coffee makers can be very, very intimidating. They were to me three years ago. That's kind of why I'm doing my channel. Um, it's just to kind of explain coffee makers, coffee in general. I was a beginner. I, I still kind of consider myself a beginner. Um, but if there's anything that's even the simplest questions, please ask. Um, I had to figure out how much coffee grounds to put in at the very beginning. So 
don't hesitate to ask is there anything anybody wants to see made uh, just any kind of simple questions I've had a question how do you plug in the coffee maker well you know if you've never plugged one in that might be kind of tricky so I've kind of started showing that in the, in the videos thanks everybody for joining in today I'm gonna end it now we're at an hour and a half never dreamed I'd be doing an hour and a half live stream thanks everybody for joining uh, there was quite a few people that came in and out well, quite a few I think I saw seven at the most <laughs> but we had fun today Saturday Saturday morning coffee with dad questions answered questions asked again I'm throwing it out there to YouTube do you mind seeing uh, videos like I buy some gadgets and I want to do I want to review them I just I find that exciting you know I, I enjoy doing the coffee maker stuff but I also enjoy like just showing people how different things work so is that okay to post on this channel should I start another channel with just how-to videos on other gadgets throwing that out there if you could um, please leave a comment on what you think um, I don't care how honest you are I, I really just want positive or not I just want uh, honest feedback uh, that's all I want because I just want to help people I want to know how to help people that's the the reason behind my videos is just to help people so and I just enjoyed that part of it I think that's I've just enjoyed the journey seeing people get helped on YouTube they leave it in the comments and it just makes me want to do more videos of helping people so right at an hour and a half again thanks everybody for joining I'm gonna be signing off now thanks everybody and I'll be look I'll uh, be posting some videos of the case Supreme Plus looks like a really nice coffee maker and they'll be a lot shorter and, and to the point so thanks everybody for watching just a dad videos